spring is in the air and there are lots of beautiful flowers starting to bloom. And though you can always buy a beautiful bouquet at the store, why not get creative and make your own? Here with tips and tricks and floral trends we're seeing right now is floral designer Caleb Franklin Sims. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me, Kelly. And bringing the gorgeous flowers here that already smell absolutely incredible. Yeah, I'm really excited. We're starting to see a lot of fresh local blooms coming into the markets, which is kind of a floral game changer for people in the industry, but also for people at home. You'll start to see more flowers coming into Trader Joe's, Met Market, places where you can get your own floral to make your own arrangements. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah. and that's what we're doing today, yes. I take it, and I wanna make you proud, so oh. what are we, okay. we making? What is in front of me so here? So I'm <laughs> just cool. gonna give you a bit of tips and tricks to make your own at-home arrangement, and I gave you a Lazy Susan, because that's how I design when I'm working in studio. Okay, um, it's a vibe. It, it is a vibe, you know? Um, not just for, for cooking and cabinetry, you know? Yes. So I like to start out with a basic shape. Okay. With greenery, and this is actually fresh mint. Mm, which I'm is smelling that, okay. Very fragrant, very beautiful. And a friend of mine in the floral industry always taught me, editing is one of the best things you can do. Pulling away little stems okay. to, to make things fit in the vase so they're not so long and kind of wonky. And then you're, you're and chopping. Then, and then you use the little snipper And I'm using there. your, your you, favorite. You told me these snips. are your lucky. I let you use my lucky Does snips that today. That's, and a lot of times you can cut at an angle. Okay, why? Which opens up the stem a little oh, bit okay. to allow more hydration. And so right and now I'm literally just- Just right now you're literally, see how I'm making kind of a high point here? Mm -hmm. Giving it a little bit of shape that curves up. And what is in here that you have that's like yes. chicken wire? These are mechanics that you can do at home. So this is just a coated chicken wire that I purchased from Home Depot. Okay. You bundle it up so it has kind of some access points for these stems here. And then you just get some tape that you can get this floral tape at Joanne Fabric. Just tape it up and it keeps Perfect. everything happy and in place. Okay, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm literally following the leader. Just I'm, follow, you did yeah, another follow mint. Follow along. Okay. So we the, the main point is to... Editing though, I like that. Edit. That's fantastic. You're already remembering. And you just kind of cover the corners of the vase so okay. that you you want to get nice coverage here. This is amazing. How did you get into loving florals and yeah. arrangements? So um, I grew up in Skagit Valley, um, surrounded by the tulip fields. Oh, my, enough said. Enough said. My grandmother had a garden. Um, I spent a lot of summers in the garden. I moved to Los Angeles for a few years for school. Tried to be an actor. <laughs> didn't work out. Came back okay. here. Yeah, came back here and uh, took an internship, and I fell in love with doing flowers because you get a really instant, beautiful creation within about 30 minutes, and it's something that lives on for a week and it spreads joy. Absolutely. What are yeah. some of like the you know floral designs and everything that you you have? And I've yeah. seen your Instagram is just absolutely stunning. Thank there you. we are, right there. <laughs> I mean, look at so those much. arrangements. Yeah. So I specialize in uh, weddings, dinners, um, different events around the Seattle region. My company is called C Franklin, and yeah, I'm just inspired by the golden age, um, Rembrandt paintings, still lifes, anything that's really bountiful, romantic, colorful, opulent. I, I believe that we can all use a little beauty and opulence in our lives <laughs> every Amen. day. Amen. Amen. And look at that beautiful arrangement over here that, yeah, I you. mean, is finished. That is just beyond stunning. Like thank it's you so much. breathtaking. Yeah, that just kind of features a full color palette. Um, really indicative of my style and design and and it it just kind of makes me makes me happy. Yes. So, okay, what yes. are all these local so you said that we have some local flowers we too. Do. So are which ones are So these lilacs are local and these oh, are sourced from the Seattle Wholesale Growers Market. So people at home, there are public hours at this market. Then they can pop in starting at ten AM and it's a really great place to find local products, meet some growers, find stuff that you normally wouldn't find in a market, but also I will blow up Trader Joe's right now. They're fantastic. <laughs> they have okay. garden roses, hellebore that you can find there. Very Stuff, affordable Very affordable, too. yeah, absolutely. And what are all, like what is, I haven't seen anything. So, like, yours yeah, looks beautiful by are, the way. Oh, no, okay, I'm, so, so I'm still I'm working. I'm gonna give you I'm, a tip. So yeah. grab, grab some more lilac. <laughs> okay. And then you're already having a beautiful shape here. Okay, well but thank you. But it's just about kind of, see so you've created these passageways <laughs> here, and now it's about filling them in. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so maybe a lilac on the, on the edge right there, which is beautiful. Pro tip. 
tips. See, I just need you to follow me <laughs> around okay. all, all the time. And the thing is, too, I think we all need to remember that it's just floral. Like, it's not, <laughs> it's not, I think people get really afraid and they're like, oh, no, I can't, like, touch it. But it's all in the eye of the beholder. And whatever, whatever you think is beautiful and what you think is going to make you happy, that's... That's good enough. You I know? love that. Yeah. Do you have any other like floral tips for people too at home that are maybe starting out? I, I feel like that's just mm -hmm. a good one in itself. Like, don't get so like upset and mad at yourself. Like, right. just try your best. Just people. try your best <laughs> and go for go for things you wouldn't normally think of arranging with too. Um, for example, I've included a lot of grapes. There's fresh cut fruit that you can add to the table. Oh my god! So things that you normally wouldn't think that that you would want to include in floral can be included in floral. Um, I would never think fruit, fruit and all, but it's yeah. so colorful and beautiful. So colorful and it really extends the tablescape. So uh, it can be again, a really fun where tip. can people find you? I will keep yeah. practicing in Fantastic. the break. Yours looks yeah. good. Maybe I'll just take yours <laughs> home. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, C. Franklin Design on Instagram and on my website. And um, yeah, I just look forward to people finding more about floral. Absolutely, yeah. you you have given me some amazing tips Fantastic. and this was so much fun. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much.